are here at the Red Book offices, and I'm with Carla Hall, and we're talking about your new book, Carla's Comfort Food. Thank yes. you so much for being here. Well, thank you for having me. So, first of all, this book isn't just about comfort foods that you grew up with. This is right. global comfort mm -hmm. food. So tell me a little bit about how you are defining comfort food here. These are the comfort foods that I like. I mean, I think when you look at me and you know that I'm African American, I'm from the South, you immediately think Southern region. That's comfort food. But the fact of the matter is, I like all kinds of foods, but I want the foods that you might find in someone's home kitchen. All the foods that maybe someone grew up on, you know, palak paneer, um, um, Persian rice. Mm -hmm. So it's very broad, and I wanted to celebrate different cultures. And I think for a lot of people, some of the cuisines that you tackle in this book are a little bit scary to people. Mm -hmm. I mean, you mentioned you know, Indian food, Thai mm -hmm. food. Some of these cuisines, people think, well, I have to go out to eat that. Yes. So by approaching it as a comfort food, does that make it feel a little bit more approachable? I think so. I think when you think of a mother or somebody, a grandma, cooking them in her home kitchen, you think, I can do it. Right. But what I have done to make it very approachable, I have a spice chart in the beginning of the book, mm -hmm. and there are no spices that you are not familiar with. I think what you may not be familiar with are how they're put together. Right. Most of these spices can be bought at your regular grocery store. I have a list of spices. I have a list of fresh ingredients, miscellaneous ingredients. You know, there are some things that are specialty items, but for the most part, are you taking classic recipes and really making them easy for the American palate and the American mm -hmm. home cook? Yes, and I'm really glad you said that because what this is not mm -hmm. is an authentic recipe. It, it is my interpretation. Mm -hmm. Uh, my take on a traditional recipe. So let's take the callaloo. So callaloo, which is um, a West African stew or a Caribbean stew, it has okra and salt fish and um, coconut milk and some callaloo leaves. Well, I use spinach, I use um, crab legs, I use bacon instead of the salt fish and I'm getting some of those flavors. I keep the okra in, I keep the coconut in, but it is something that's very familiar, I think, to people, but it's an interesting taste. Right, and let's also talk about the way that you organize the book, which is kind of cool, because you're mm -hmm. taking specific ingredients, yes. and you're saying, like, all right, if you love eggplant, mm -hmm. here's how you can do it. Italian, Indian, mm -hmm. Southern, and there's a lot of, each one also has a story of how mm -hmm. it relates to you. So why set it up in that way for people? Well, I wanted to think of what is seasonal. So mm -hmm. when you go to the farmer's market, and it's in the spring or the, the early summer, and there are peas there, mm -hmm. And you're thinking, I'm getting peas in my CSA box, or I keep going to the market and I see peas. I, I know right. one way how to do them. Right. I'm giving you three different ways. Right, you and get it and you're like, I don't know what to do You're like, I don't this. know what to do with them. <laughs> so what I want you to do is to take the peas and explore with a seasonal ingredient, because that's what people are doing all over the world. And I mean, when you talk about this notion of comfort food, I think a lot of people mm -hmm. obviously think about the region where they grew up in. Mm -hmm. Was it important to you to kind of get people out of that, of like, any cuisine can be comfort food, as long as you can eat it around a table with a family, because a lot yes. of the stories in here are about family. It's about family. But another thing, um, the genesis of the idea of this book came from the political uh, climate in 2012 that was so polarizing. I'm like, this is crazy. I wish I could show through food how we're very similar. Right. So the first dish that I thought about was a southern dish, chicken with milk gravy. Mm. So instead of the milk, if you take that out and you add sour cream and paprika, you could be in Hungary. Mm. You take the milk out and you add bananas and tomatoes and habanero peppers, you could be in West Africa. Take the milk out and you add um, Dijon, heavy cream, and white wine, you could be in France. But the basic technique of this dish, of making a chicken in a stew or pot, is the same. You're mm. just changing the, the spices and little ingredients. What are your favorite recipes in the book? Are there some that you are like, I know everyone should make that one because it's the best? Um, <laughs> the callaloo. I keep going mm -hmm. back to this callaloo. So I love that one. I love peach cobbler mm -hmm. because I've been making peach cobbler. I didn't put it in the last book. And, um, so it was its time to shine. It's, it was its time <laughs> to shine. My grandmother's peach cobbler. Um, you know what's in here that wasn't in my last book? And so many people ask me about it. I love peas the tarragon peas that, that I did on Top Chef. I can't tell you how many times people have come up to me on the street and then they're like, Carla, they could be like halfway down the street, Carla, how do you make those peas? <laughs> and I'm yelling, tarragon, don't overcook the peas. <laughs> I wanted people to feel like I am their friend coming into their kitchen, cooking with them, and here is some way to make your life easier. Thank you so much. The book is Carla's Comfort Food. Really appreciate you taking the time. Thanks Thank you so, so much. much. 
sometimes.